So we're talking about CRMs, and I'm with AJ. Yeah. AJ, how do you how do you choose the right CRM for the business that you're in? Because I guess that it might be specific to the business you're in. It doesn't necessarily they're not always generic right they're not generic and it's, it, you've got to be very careful to make sure you just don't buy some generic software because it doesn't work for all industries uh, i'll give you an example i was working with a, a travel company in london uh, and they were doing uh, uh, trips from saudi arabia into the uk and they were trying to use a standard crm system to you to cover the processes and it didn't work and it and what we had to do was bespoke and on a normal CRM system for make better use of the way it was going to work. So not not all CRM systems will work for that industry. Yeah, and I guess um, I mean I've been recently speaking with a few uh, uh, business automation experts who've been uh, building custom CRM software for manufacturers and people with very specialised needs. Do you think that's ever a good plan, or do you think would you recommend taking something off the shelf? that's worked in that sector? If you can find something that works in that sector, I think it's uh, always good to try and get something off the shelf. Yep. Uh, but what I have found, you know, not just in the travel industry, but other yep. industries I've worked in, there, there always isn't a good standard fit. Yep. And you know, the, the, some of these big systems especially are very standard across all, and then you end up bespoke in the system anyway. Yes. So you may as well in the first place go for something that's specialized for your particular industry. Yeah, that makes sense. I, I was recently, um, slightly bizarrely, at a uh, funeral ex exhibition, yeah, okay, yeah. and I was gravitated instantly towards the software vendors, um, yeah. and discovered that funeral management software is a thing, which is effectively a type of CRM, because yeah, yeah. um, you're managing people, you're managing events, yeah. you're making sure that stuff happens. Um, and I looked at some of this software, and it was written in a I think it was written in Ball and Delphi which if you're a techie means it was okay. like mid 90s when it was designed yeah um, so maybe there's times when modern software is a, a better choice than that there, there are times when it's good 